Hi, I'm Ravi Rajani and this is Alex Haynes. You just heard the VOD50, that's a valve overdrive 50 watts, a very high quality, lightweight, all analog guitar amplifier with spring reverb. It comes as a combo, which Alex was just playing, loaded with a Jensen 12-inch speaker, the Tornado 100. And it also comes as a head, which I've got behind me. And I've connected the head to a custom 2x12 cabinet loaded with Celestians. And we can make any cabinet to go with the head as a custom order. Um, let's take a quick look at the features of this amp. On the front panel from left to right, we've got a an input jack, a foot switch jack, which is a regular TRS type. It's to be connected to the included heavy duty two button foot switch, but it also plays nicely with external third party pedal switching systems like gig rig. There are two push button switches on the front panel for switching the channels manually. As you can see, there are four possible states, clean and lead and a six dB boost on each. The clean gain goes from totally clean to mildly overdriven. The lead drive takes over from there and takes you right into classic rock territory. The lead level lets you balance the lead channel relative to the clean channel. There's a uh, two band EQ, a reverb level and a master volume and uh, a power switch. On the back panel, there's a uh, serial effects loop, an eight ohm speaker out, uh, a voltage selector for those touring musicians and a power socket. Now this amp has some very unique features. The valve preamp is designed around two double triode valves, an ECC83, which is the high gain valve that you typically find in guitar amps, and the less common ECC82, which I've configured as a pentode. Pentodes and triodes have different characteristics and they have a different sound when you overdrive them because they have different harmonic spectrums. So when you combine triodes and pentodes, you get a very rich overdrive sound, which you typically associate with a cranked all valve amp because power valves are typically pentodes. But you don't need to crank this amp to get that sound because it's all in the preamp. So this amp is perfect for studio sessions, practice sessions, as well as those big gigs because it can go pretty loud, as you'll see later. Another thing that's special about this amp is that the uh, gain controls, the clean gain and the lead drive, are both mid-boosts. And you want them to be mid-boosts because as you overdrive a valve, you want to limit the uh, bass frequencies because otherwise your sound gets muddy, woofy and farty. It's not very nice. Also, you want to limit the treble frequencies because an overdriven valve generates plenty of treble with all the additional harmonics it creates. Add that to the fact that your ear is more sensitive to treble and bass frequencies at high sound pressure levels, and it makes perfect sense for gain controls to be mid-boosts. By the similar logic, our boost switch is also a mid-boost. We're going to demonstrate the clean channel first and what those gain controls sound like with Alex. Sweet. Yeah, that sounded awesome. Let's try that with the uh, Lee channel.
So this amp has an active two-band EQ of the backsand alt topology. And this is a very nice sounding EQ where the controls are not very interactive with each other. So you're, you know, you can modify the treble and it doesn't affect the bass and doesn't affect your mid-range. Uh, your mid-range stays intact, which is a very nice feature. And you can get, you know, you don't really need a mid-range control with this type of EQ. You know, if you want relatively more mids, you just turn the bass and treble down and, you know, crank your volume a little bit. If you want, you know, a very scooped sound, you can crank your bass and your treble and you'll get, you know, that Fender Blackface type sound. Uh, let's hear what it sounds like now. So now let's take a look at the reverb. Now this amp has a real analog long tank spring reverb. There's nothing quite like the sound of a real spring reverb. This circuit's been designed to sound bright and sparkly, not muddy at all, because it's intended to be used as more or less an always on effect on both channels, clean and the lead channel. And uh, yeah, it's got a really deep and lush sound and I think you'll like it. Let's, let's hear what it sounds like. So there's uh, quite a lot of compression built into this amp. In the Pento, there's a fair amount of screen compression, and that manifests itself as a squishy, spongy feel when uh, overdriven. And uh, the power amp has a very high quality optical compressor in front of it, and it's very transparent sounding. You wouldn't necessarily notice it too much, um, although you would feel it. Uh, and it's, you know, it stops the power amp from clipping too hard and it also allows some very fast transients to get through so that the power amp can clip them because it's designed to clip transients very cleanly and to recover fast and the result is a really great, very loud sound. And we're going to hear that now. <laughs>
<laughs> that was killer. Feels incredible under the fingers to play. It feels amazing. Oh. Yeah, so good. Right. So the last thing I want to show you is the effects loop. This amp has a serial effects loop in the back and you can switch the level through the loop to line or instrument and instrument really means guitar and that's a level suitable for most guitar effects pedals. Line is, you know, for professional rack effects units or also just a line out that you can, you know, stick into your recording system. You can also use the effects loop to run multiple amps, you know, the effects send, you can switch it to instrument level and uh, plug it into the front of a second amp. You can also put a stereo chorus in the loop and, you know, have only one of the outputs of the chorus go to a second amp and the, the other one go back to the return of the loop. And then you'll get a big spatial sound. And we're going to demonstrate the effects loop running two amps now, the uh, combo and the head with the 2x12 cabinet. See what that sounds like. Great, so I think you got a good sense of what this amp can do. And, and with its you know, multiple switchable channels, its EQ, reverb, spring reverb, serial effects loop, multi-voltage operation, it's a very versatile amp. These amps are made in the UK by me. They're made with the highest grade components I've been able to source, and I expect it to last a lifetime. And I'm not just saying that, these amps come with a limited lifetime warranty. Thanks for watching and check us out at rajaniamps.com. <laughs>